Good morning, Phobos. We are doing map four today. This is a boom megawatt, so I'm on PR boom. I'll, I'll do hurt me plenty. start there cool looking map so far uh, yeah this starts similar to map one with a nice rocky area and then a big tech base that you enter into hmm, can't get up there so, yeah, if that's going to be impassable, then maybe make this section of it a little bit higher so that it doesn't look like I clearly should be able to get there. Uh, but I like the rocky area coming into the base. Uh, not perfectly symmetric, so that's good. This wad has had some sym symmetry struggles, I would say. Design, I don't mind so much, but even monster placement has been an issue. Huh, what does that do then? Oh, opens that door. So I guess I don't go this way. So 172 monsters, 4 secrets, 82 items. Yeah, nice, nice tech base look here. Got some cool, uh, oops, cool effects up there. Nice colors. Uh, I like this here. This tells me that there's going to be a bridge at some point. So that's just good level design. Visual cues. I'm guessing that's it. That'll do it. That'll open that door. Okay. Shoot the cacodemon, please. No? Seriously? Come on, man. That looks like a secret. There's some more ammo. Ah. Got me a berserk out of it. Yeah, I got punched. You too. I didn't get punched. And then you got One more punching. So this is super TNT in here. Um, yeah, look at this is like exactly like that. that mod wall's not all that well aligned in some places. But yeah, this is exactly like I forget which map it is in TNT, but I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. And we even got this. Is this a teleporter actually? Oh 
am I in the middle of that? Oh, yeah, this is exactly like that map. There's some more health I can grab. Yeah, maybe not. Super wide open areas in this map. I don't say this is TNT in a bad way. It just is what it is. It's obvious that that was a big influence. It looks great, actually. You know the intricacies of the design, the visual design, all this techy stuff going on. I love it. It's not unpegged. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be or not. kind of ironic. I'm actually humping walls trying to find a secret and a trap opens up. <laughs> hinting at a secret because you know you can see that there's stuff up there that's not really the main hint the main hint is that there are armor bonuses so you know you can get up there one way or another cool all right so yeah this is exactly like i wish i could remember the name of that map it's a backpack make sure i've explored everything sufficiently Oh, this is the start area, isn't it? Now I can open the door. Get myself a rocket launcher. Terrific! Alright, I'm very prepared for the red door. 
which is here. Let's go ahead and save it. symmetric enemy placement again. I don't mind the symmetric level design, but when the enemies are the exact same on both sides, Pan Elemental over here? Because I've played the map before? No. Because I've seen it enough times where there's exact symmetry with the enemies. I like the light in here, that's really cool. Yeah, these maps look great. They could... Some of them could use a slight upgrade in the enemy encounters. Is, uh, really my only big issue so far. Blue door. Yeah, so in here, this is basically a symmetric room. Yeah, not quite. But you have different monsters, so that's good. Two out of four seconds. That might be a trap. Yeah, that'll bring the key down. Okay. Most of the combat in this squad has been kind of, eh. It hasn't all been, like, boring, but most of it's been pretty easy, and then every now and then we do get some surprises. Two Ragnatrons in this position, you know, they can get to you if you can't get out of the room in time. And then I struggled with that Mancubus, I really struggled. Dang. Alright.
Yeah, this is like literally nukage processing. Map 13 from TNT. Uh, yeah, the it is the exit room. One of the key doors you open up and this is exactly what you get. This is damaging in TNT, but you get these pillars like this. And you can go up the stairs to go around either side. Then you come around and there's the exit room. Um, yeah. That's this whole idea with the teleporting into the rooms. That's a different map. That's a much earlier map. I want to say it's like map six or maybe even earlier, maybe like three or four. But this is definitely a nod to Nukic processing. It's like a almost like a straight rip, to be honest with you. Um, I, I mean, it's different enough that I'm not gonna say it's like plagiarism or anything like that. But. Yeah, definitely reminds you of that. Alright. That was 2105 Power Control. Um, yeah. So yeah, so far these maps look really great. Uh, the, just the visual design. A lot of detail, a lot of uh, nice features architecturally little details, whatever. Looking good. Um, a lot like TNT, again. Uh, map 2 especially looked a lot like TNT. This one certainly did as well. Um, so yeah, also some open, big open areas like in TNT. A lot of the combat is, is not... Uh, the highlight of the wad. Uh, there are some tough fights, tougher fights here and there, but for the most part, it's it's been pretty simple so far. This is only map four, of course, and I'm only on hurt me plenty, so that could change. Um, but yeah, just the the visual beauty is is the uh, I think the best part of this wad so far. Now I like that map. Uh, it suffered again a little bit from some of the some of the symmetry to a fault situations where even the monsters are symmetrically placed but overall uh, pretty cool situation pretty much a hub with keys so um, and definitely a nod to that other map in TNT which I can't remember the name of it so yeah so far I like this I like this wad um, it'll be interesting to see what happens in later maps, if we stay kind of true to TNT or we start doing other things, give this map something of an identity. It doesn't really have a, an identity so far. I, I don't really care, um, but it really doesn't have its own gimmick so far. It's kind of just, you know, similar to TNT. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, pretty good stuff.